welcome, welcome to, to Eat with the Twins. Twins. My name is Stephanie. And I'm Stephania. And today we are going to cook Snapper. So, um, we have our Snapper here. It's fresh, ready, soaked in the ice. Already cleaned. Yes. We're going to put it in the... right here with, with the lemon. So the very first thing I'm going to show you today is how to clean your snapper. Um, it is very essential to show you how to clean your snapper. So the very first thing you do, you open it up, you open your snapper, and then wherever you see blood, remember it was soaked into the ice, Whenever you see anywhere dark in the fish, as you can see right here, these are blood and they need to come out. So we're going to go, we're gonna start at the bottom. Make sure, if someone already cleaned the fish for you, you can tell that there's nothing at the bottom. As you can see right here, you see? There's a lot of blood. All these blood have to come out. So what I do is, you add lemon as well so the blood can come out. Yeah, it's but easier. first, I try to remove some of it first because the lemon, what it does, it dries the blood, the lemon and the salt. So what I do, I try to take out the blood and the fish and the snapper. And you see that? All the white stuff in there the tongue, anything that you think you can remove. Just pop it, cut it, and remove it. Anything in the middle that's blocking you from getting the fish to be a little neat. Be able to hold it, hold the head. But to be honest, I feel like the first thing you want to do before you do all that, you add salt and lemon while you're doing that it's it's better to put add salt and lemon yeah but recall me and stephanie since we're not home cooking yes. we're at a show and we have our different ways of cooking as well believe it or not yeah. even though we're cooking together she has her own way and i have my own ways my own ways so mine is better mine is way better Anyway, moving forward. <laughs> so here's what we're doing. We're cleaning the fish. So I got some of the blood out. And some of this, some of disturbing stuff inside the fish. Recall, if someone, where you purchase your fish, sometimes they remove the tongue right here. This needs to be removed. So they already took it off for me. So I just cut some piece, some piece right here. I don't like this part. Usually I remove it. But if you like it, it's up to you. I usually use my knife. I take it out. You That's always it. have to remove the tongue. All right. So I got the tongue out. All right, so I'm going to put some salt. Lemon, of course. Yes. It's a must. Lemon is a must. I literally wash my fish two to three times. Why? People wash it maybe once or twice me two to three times because of the smell of the fish you don't want to cook the fish and you can smell yeah the... and when you do when you're cleaning it make sure that lemon goes really deep because you know fish has a very strong smell so make sure you clean the inside very good so now from the outside you make sure you slice you slice it twice or three one two three 
that. So the seasoning depending, can get in there. Get in there, depending on the size size of the fish. As you can see, I slice it two times. Both sides. Both sides. So. <laughs> and after that. We're going I'm going to... to clean it to make sure it's clean. Even though they give it to me just like that, I make sure I go on the tail, on the sides. I make sure there's no, you know, nothing that shouldn't be on the fish. You see? Here they are. You see that? See? Just to make sure there's none. So after she's done doing that, you rinse it out with clear water, mm -hmm. then you do it again. Yeah. You add salt and you add lemon again. Yeah. If you have to do it three times, do it three times until yeah. it's very neat and the smell is completely out. I mean, the smell of the fish will never yeah. be completely out. So but now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some lemon on the entire fish, which is on the outer side. Yeah. Okay. Make sure you get on the deep where you cut it out. It's like you're making something special. Yes. Like when you're taking your time to clean your room, for example, but your fish has to be really, really neat, like extremely neat. You don't want to eat something, well, fish, you don't want to eat it without you cleaning it first because ah, there's things that does come out of this fish. So it's a must to, you know, to really clean Since it up. Since we're not home, um, we are simply, you know, at our show, live on TV. Um, usually, like Stephanie has said, we do it twice. And I make sure I go back, I go inside and make sure I go side by side. And they can see how the color is changing right now. Yeah, the color would start changing. White. And then make sure you wash your fish with lemon and salt all the time. Nothing else but lemon and salt. You really remove the, the smell. It's getting whiter, like the inside is getting yeah. clearer. I mean, instead of whiter. <laughs> okay. Back to eat with the twins. Now that we're done washing our fish or a snapper, we're going to get ready for the seasoning. Or seasoning, yes, correct. Seasoning time. Mm -hmm. Y'all ready for this? So now that we already have some salt in here, I added maybe just a tablespoon or two. It depends on the yeah, how big is your fish. Yeah, the fish is very small. Okay, so I added one tablespoon of salt. And now what I'm adding is green onion. As you can see, really chopped everything. That's prior, so we can get it ready. I added some green onion right here. Oh, she's cooking. As you can see. <laughs> I'm dancing while she's Ignore cooking. Ignore her. <laughs> so I added some green onions. All right, since we're going to bake our snapper, so I chop everything instead of blending everything, making 
making an actual apis is what we call it at home. So I'm putting some hot pepper. You do not have to add any hot pepper if you're either allergic or you do not like hot pepper, but me, I'm a big fan. I'll have, add a, a whole pepper in there. So green onion, salt, pepper, hot pepper, and then we're going to add some cloves. I love cloves. Cloves mean everything. Tastes so good. Even though you guys, when you, when your mom or your family member cooks and they're like, you, you get a spoon of rice and you're like, what is that taste? I hate that, that taste. That bitter taste. Believe It'd be it or not, stucking on my tooth, like yes, back there. It's like, yeah. Uh, uh, ew. Yeah. I'm so, a love. But believe clothes. it or not, it makes your food taste so good. It makes it taste lovely. Yes, it does. Okay. And we're gonna add some shallots. Um, not on this one. I do not like to add shallots. See, see, we're so different. I do not add totally. shallots. I add it afterwards. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add some lemon juice. Recall, lemon is very acidic. You do not need an entire lemon to make your fish. So I'm just going to cut a lemon in half, and then there you go. And I'm going to put the juice right in my ingredients. I use the fish, I'm sorry, I use the, the knife to help me squeeze my lemon. If I do not have any instruments for it. So now, make sure all the juice gets in there. Be careful. I'm so used to this. All right, we got all the juice in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some cube of Maggie. Um, recall, you do not need to use Maggie, but we will you can add you salt how, and pepper. Yeah, but we're just uh -huh. demonstrating how I do it. All right. So now that we have all the green onions, the hot pepper, the cloves, the lemon, the salt in the lemon, we add a little bit of oil. Tell me why we add a little bit of oil. I wish you guys could answer that question. But we add a little bit of oil because we don't want to burn the fish. So instead of it being burned, it's going to be frying. So that's it's, the reason it's why. It's gonna bake the fish. Yeah. It's like, it's gonna make it crunchier when you add yeah. the instead of oil so and everything. By the time you get burned, you'll smell it. So now I just mix it, mix them all. Guys, it does smell amazing. It smells amazing. Hmm, that looks interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. So as you can see, you can tell it's juicy. See? You can tell it's very, very, very juicy. So now let's put it in there. No, first I want to taste it. Oh. You can go ahead and taste it. See what it's missing you can add a little bit more salt okay just a tiny bit because it's a very small snapper see very small snapper so now that we're ready we're going to add our ingredients all over that fish by the way there's two ways to make Big yes, fish. There's so many ways. So many ways. But this is one of my favorite. That's the reason why I'm doing it today. I'm making There's it today. another way where you can blend the oh, actual yes. The ingredients together mm -hmm. and then the you pour it in there. Way. Yeah. Everybody sure does blender, that. Everybody does it. Yeah. Everybody does it. With the with the onions and peppers and hot peppers and green onions and sweet uh -huh. peppers and um, a cube of Maggie or salt and pepper, you just Blend everything together, and you're just put it pouring in there. Mm -hmm. But some but you people make sure the hot pepper gets right yeah. in between. But some people does it like that as well. So we're just showing you how to Build. do it. It doesn't have to be blend. 
it can be cut. Everything can be just cut mm -hmm. and just And that there. little juice you have left there, just a little bit, you just pour it right into your fish. Right into your fish. Can they leave it for like at least eight hours? Just about to five that. minutes. Me, I go ahead and leave it there for over thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Yeah. And the reason why I leave it for thirty minutes is because I did not add a lot of lemon. So I I put the exact amount of lemon. Let's say if the snapper was twice bigger, I will use an entire lemon because you, you it's so acidic. and less time to be soaked, right? Yes. You do not need to put a lot of lemon because guess what? It's going to be over. Okay? It's going I think to be I should cook another acid. fish one day. Yeah. So, as you can see, the inside is super clean. Look at that. It's super clean. It's joli. Very clean, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, I go ahead and put, you know, more and more of that ingredient in there. And I close it. Look. I'm going to close it, close it, let it sit, and put more on top. Okay, and then I leave it there for over 30 minutes. So, now we will be right back. Right when you put the fish for, well, right after you put it in for, you let it sit for 30 minutes, you're going to put this fish right after those 30 minutes under your stove. And you're going to put it on 360. And I would say for over an hour. The reason why I say 360, you want it to have, um, to, for your fish to be cooked under a te very low temperature, so it won't get burned, okay? So I put it on 360 for over an hour or an hour and a half, depends on how cooked you want it to be. If you want it well done, if you want it not too well done, it can be 45 minutes as well, so. Right, so we'll be right back. I'll be back. Welcome back to Eat with the Twins. So now that we have our fish baked and it's completely ready, yes. so let me stand a little bit and show you my magic. So mm. I started with decorating my big fish. I like it well done, guys. So here's what I do. I put a shallot. Now you see the difference with me? I will add shallots like prior, prior, like to be cooked with it. Yeah. I don't know. I like the taste of the shallots when yeah, it's cooking. But I feel as if like me or onions, if you want. I mean, other people. I'm talking about like if other people want yeah. to it's add okay. onions but or if you shallots. Have the same taste stuff. that I'm that I'm having with my snapper. It's also feel free to follow my lead. It's good as well, but. J'adore can see how can I say that when it's cooked, cooked with, it. with it, it's 
there's another flavor into it, so. But me, um, the fact that I like green onion a lot and I feel as if like it has the best flavor, flavor ever, um, I feel as if I do not need to Shots. add more. The, thing's, the thing is with fish, it doesn't need a lot of seasoning like no. meat does. No. You know, especially when you're cooking goat or very easy to cook. Beef, whatever you're cooking. This particular fish. Seafood is mm -hmm. super easy to cook. Like any seasoning will just, you know? So, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to add some tomatoes. Tomato. Um, you could tomate. The tomate. Let's say if you're having a nice dinner, you're having you uh, a date. Why a date all the time? Oh, uh, a friend over, a family member, family member over, or a best friend over, or somebody you graduate? appreciate. The graduate, yes, the graduation class of 2020. Felicitations. Felicitaciones. <laughs> So. Oh, I have one of my little co cousin, Kala. Congratulations, Congratulations, baby. Congratulations, my love. So now that um, I added some pineapples, okay, um, you can either get fresh pineapples or you can either get it, get them in the can. So you can either add a little bit of green onions, but not today. Here's my favorite part of it all. I like to add avocado. avocado. <laughs> Some fresh avocados. Okay, I want to try your. Unfortunately, it's not to try. It's for our fans today. Seriously? Yes. It's not fair. It is fair. It's so not fair. It is fair. <laughs> it is fair. It's not fair. I'm, well, I'm going to put my finger in there. How about that? No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> Okay. It. Can you imagine? Yes. So many. Yes, yeah, they can. They can imagine. Ah, oh, this one is it. Stop. Ah! Why you did that? <laughs> Are you serious? Stop. Yes. Oh my That's goodness. So now we are done with decorating our fish. So I would like. I was thinking about putting the green onions, but I feel like it's did. too much. Go ahead and take a look and tell me how is that decoration? Uh, I'm just kidding. It's amazing, guys. It's amazing. I'm ready to taste already. Yes. No, it's like, not tasting. It's and you know less. what? After you do that, this is a tip I usually do after you're done cooking it. You add onions or shallots on the side. You yeah. cut it out. You, you cut it. And you add salt. A little tiny bit of salt, like a mm -hmm. tablespoon, yeah. and lemon, and hot pepper cut. Yeah. And you mix it all up, you put that juice on yeah. top of it. My honey, God. <laughs> honey, I'm telling you, with yeah. some fried plantain. Yes. I am telling you. We wanted to you. cook some fried plantain for you today, but we wanted to focus more on the snapper. On the fish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's a very nice demonstration Red of... Red snapper. Yes, what you can present at a baby shower, at a you know graduation party, anywhere that you can imagine of bringing a nice a nice dish, Thanksgiving dinner. Oh my God, yes, guys! Thanksgiving doesn't have to be I have to stand meat up all the one. time, turkey all the time. It we can be fresh. Have, we have so much more coming. We have a very beautiful event coming up for Thanksgiving dinner. So get ready to cook with us. And you forgot to tell them that you guys can. You can get to order your turkey, your with, turkey us. with us. We'll yes. cook it for you. Well, we pre-cook it for you, and yes. then you just put it in the oven get and enter your meat. Ready, Michael Jackson. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> okay. So, with that being said, yes. Don't forget to follow us on IG and on Facebook at Eat with the Twins with a Z. 
So we love you all. Thank you for watching. Merci. I hate Mais this girl right here. Uh, yes. Uh.